Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. This is the 1968 Pontiac Firebird Pro Street, uh, the convertible model. In an earlier video, or the last video, we shared with you where we had the, um, it's, it's kind of rude to say the cobbled up rocker, but you know what I mean without being rude. The, the really bad patched rocker panel, uh, inner and outer that they had, that's all been removed. You also recall in the earlier video, we had the bracing in here and um, the guys had just basically set in the inner rocker panel where it was needing to go. And uh, they were, they've since then a lot of progress. So they've dry fitted everything in, inner and outer rocker. And then we've got some really nice uh, welds done in various locations. So we had some issues with there was some wiring that was coming up this rail um, and they were kind of looped it around some really weird spots and we had bare, uh, bare wires in a few. So where they're pulling them through, there was some sharp metal. So um, the guys took quite a bit of time. They're really careful. You can see here where they've removed the wiring and uh, have it kind of uh, tied back. And then we have it rolled up out of the way here. So we had a lot of stuff kind of in the way here. It was really bad on the passenger side, which we'll talk about later. Um, so the focus has been on rebuilding or reconstructing uh, this driver's side. So hopefully the lighting is pretty decent. I do have a flashlight here. I think we kind of start in the front because you can see quite a bit. Um, essentially, this is our driver front area. And if I turn that light on, I'm assuming that's going to be better. So if our camera person can kind of come through this way. So we've moved some of the panels out of the way and you can see where we have this new uh, factory rocker panel, inner and outer. You can see where we have this heavy plate. We've made this plate. They had a lot of gaps in uh, the tubing that was here previously and it wasn't welded solid like we have it now. So you can see they've got this custom roll bar. We basically reinforced with stronger tubing We've cut the angles perfect. The guys made patterns to match this rocker exactly. And then once we had that all fitted in, um, extremely high heat, and you can see how nice this is all. Hopefully it'll show up nicely. Um, incredible uh, job in the welding for structural support. And then we have this outer piece, which you recall in the earlier video, that was all just cut off. This is an important or essential part because you can see this bottom part here there's bolts that go through there, and that's where we're going to fasten uh, the inner and outer fenders uh, for mounting points. So this is the front of the driver's side. I think if our camera person goes around the passenger side, and then I kind of stand over here, I can share with you. So there was a whole bunch of metal. So if you look, first of all, at the back here, you can see all of this unfinished tin. And they just had a few, um, you had various, there were some pop rivets. And there were some sheet metal screws basically from here going all the way uh, to the front firewall. And uh, so the guys removed all of that to gain access. And then we've got some measuring points and reference marks. So um, the main focus, as I mentioned earlier, is strictly on uh, this driver's side, rebuilding everything and making it all tie in nice and make sure everything is level. So back here is another thing, hopefully there's not too much glare. So this rocker panel here and the tub, um, normally what happens is, and this is kind of rotted away here, which is normal or typical um, on the Camaros and the Firebirds. So the guys made a really heavy plate. So we've added, because normally it's a hollow spot where this little pointer is through the top. Um, so we've got heavy plate here that they've added to this rocker panel. Um, and then we've made this nice heavy plate here. You can see where they've got the really nice welds. Um, and then we've got the spot welds here, which are very, very big and great penetration going into the factory uh, replacement rocker panel. So we've got an extra plate here fastened to the inner and then it's tied in with this other plate and then you can see this tubing from what they made before. They made this gorgeous roll bar um, and it was just kind of bubblegum welded in here on this cross member. And then if you recall in the earlier video where they had all the patchwork here, um, this was just tack welded, this one tube uh, to the inner and it wasn't square. So the guys, you can see where they've modified things, they've squared everything up properly the way it's supposed to be. 
Um, they've got beautiful penetration all the way around. You can see that nice blue uh, ring or rainbow. Same thing down here. You can see how much penetration there is um, all the way around. So I'm really happy the way they did um, all of that reconstruction. So now this is super tough, super strong, uh, going from the back uh, all the way to the front. This has all been braced properly across here. And then if our camera person kind of kind of come back around to the driver's side, sorry. Um, so when we come over to this front section, which is a crucial area, especially on the convertible, where you can see we've got our top door hinge area and then our lower door hinge area. Um, we've got this, this extra plate here uh, that goes in and around. You can see where the guys drilled all the original factory spot welds out. And then you can see where we've got it, uh, some extra welding in here, welded this solid all the way around. And once again, you can see the penetration, how hot that is. So um, that piece ties everything in. We know that this rocker panel um, is all level and square. We're gonna deal with the quarter panel later, but you can see even in this pocket here, everything is lined up where it's supposed to be. Um, you've got this inner bracket that's going to fasten to here. They'll work with this and this area uh, once we get working on the rockers. The main thing right now, or quarter panel I should say, uh, the main thing right now is this structure, keeping everything square and true. Um, so now this side is all done. Sorry, we're gonna make you dizzy here. We're gonna come back around to the, uh, to the passenger side. So you can see the difference now, because um, you're looking in here, you can see all of these different patches and it's, it's metal over top of metal and you kinda got um, you know, gobs of welds. There's some penetration, but um, there's so many different patches on top of stuff. And then this thing folded over, um, and there's a little square piece. Hopefully, that shows up in the video. So, you got a piece here, it's folded over. There's another piece here welded on top. Then there's a little square guy here, which I'm not sure why there's so many pieces up into here. And then this is all wide open in the end. You can put your finger through. And then we've got these um, different kind of welds here. The bottom is not welded. This side's not welded, and neither is the back. And then um, you got peekaboo holes through here. So um, you can see I can put my, my stick through there, and it's all just, there's just rock and leaves and stuff. So we don't really like that. And that's the main reason why, because from a distance, you would think, well, why are you doing all this? Um, but now you can see the difference because when we come to this side, once again, you can see all of these um, these patches that they have. You can see this little speed nut that they've welded, and that weld's not penetrated. That's just sitting up on top. This is supposed to be a support piece for the back of the seat, which we don't really like that too much. And you can see where they've got it all. Like when you come back here, all the grease and these patches, and it's all holes. There's pinholes everywhere. So this isn't nice at all. So if you look at this side, which is now the passenger side, compared to that, it's night and day without sounding too cocky or overconfident. So you can see how many spot welds have gone across. Same thing on the bottom, they've spot welded. So we've counted, measured, and marked, and drilled exactly like the factory did it. So we have all of the same crash standard kind of thing for structure. And then when you come into something like this, there's all kinds of different products on here, different colors, but you can see there's a hole right through the inner and outer rocker. There's a bunch of body filler and stuff all over the place. Uh, there's patches all through here and it's all bubbling and rotted. So if anybody was saying in the video, it doesn't look like it needs rockers, why are they doing it? it it's very, very obvious. These are um, patches on top of patches and there's so much body filler down in here um, I'm not really sure how much is really holding. So our next step, all of this wire that you see um, tied up in here, we've got the spool here and that big roll there and this other roll here, all of those wires were kind of tangled around between the roll bar in here and running across. And um, there was a lot of bare wires from just not being careful running it through. So we wanted to make sure we didn't hurt anything removed all of that wiring from the back to the front, uh, rerouted it, <coughs> pardon me, got everything out of the way. So our next step now um, will be like that other side. So what they'll do is the guys are going to brace this like they did the other side. So we're gonna basically have mounting points 
where the door post is. Uh, that'll be structurally squared from there to here. Uh, we'll make sure that the door post is in the right spot and we have the correct height. Once this is all squared up and braced, uh, then they'll start drilling at all the spot wells like they did before. And then we'll remove all of this nasty rocker panel. And then once that's off, we'll do like we did with the driver's side. We'll share with you when it's flipped over all the different um, cobbled up pieces and all the rust that's in there. Because going from this to that totally makes the car safe and uh, we're on the, on the right path of, uh, of where we need to be. So this is the 1968 Pontiac Firebird Pro Street. I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance. Autorestore.com.